Stolen mail, missing mail, delivery delays. We've seen all sorts of problems with the post office. Tonight, a West Loop woman, though, says USPS lost all of her wedding invitations less than two months before her big day. CBS News' Marissa Perlman has her story. So we're so excited. Lauren Newhouse and her fiance Michael Shook are counting down the minutes until their big day. It's in May and just getting more excited by the day. Their love story spelled out in ink on custom made wedding invitations. We met in Detroit at this little dive bar. Thursday night, the couple ceremoniously shipped them off to their friends and family at the after hours USPS drop box near their home. I'm absolutely positive they were all in there. But by trusting this blue box, overnight this became an impossible RSVP. My fiance jokes that these invitations are absolutely cursed. Early the next morning, Newhouse, a resident at UIC, started getting messages on social media. And it was all people who had found our wedding invitations kind of strewn across West Loop. Others showed up at their front door, all with wet, ragged envelopes in hand. I mean, your heart just sinks. And I look out behind me and I see all these blue pieces of paper that are scattered across the intersection. One of those neighbors, Don Gonzalez. Most people would drive by these blue pieces of paper like it was nothing. What made you stop? As soon as I saw the stamps on it, I realized they were probably wedding invitations. Gonzalez, too, who's planning his own wedding, noticed the love stamp and called on his daughter, Quinn, to help him track down the bride. Because I know what she's going through a little bit. Thank you. That's so nice. A reunion of sorts here in the West Loop, where Gonzalez first found the invites, blocks from that blue box. Other invites found more than a mile away. How they got here, still a mystery. I know that wedding invitations don't sound like a huge deal, and, and you know, they probably aren't, but we did put a lot of money and a lot of time into them. New house now down thousands of dollars and dealing with a tight deadline with just a few weeks to go until her wedding. Plus her personal information now on display on Chicago city streets. But new house says there is a silver lining. Folks helping her track down her something blue. It doesn't feel good to have your personal information out there, but to know that our neighbors here are so tight knit and so awesome to try to help us through and at least figure out what happened felt good. Reporting in the West Loop, Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Postal inspectors say their mail theft team has been made aware of the incident and is looking into it. It looks like they'll get something new as well because Newhouse says an artist from Michigan reached out and got them replacement invitations at cost. They'll be sent out on ultra rush delivery this week.